probably another famous formula from Xi Jinping is Gui Pi Tang. Gui Pi Tang has all these members, Huang Qi and Fu Ling. These two members we already talked about. So Fu Ling and Huang Qi remove dampness and also Huang Qi augments Qi. And Mu Xing is here, just like Chen Pi here. Bu Zhong Yi Tang. Just like Chen Pi. Bu Zhong Yi Tang. And San Chao Ren and Long An Ru and Yuan Qi. San Chao Ren is Jujube, Chinese date. And Long An Ru is a very sticky herb which tonifies in fluid and also calming shen. And Yuan Qi is the herb used to calming shen. So all these herbs calm shen. This letter means returning, returning home, returning to home. So it implies something go astray and return to the right place. This is what this letter means. And this is the first letter of Gui Pi Tang. Gui is this letter, Gui Pi Tang. Then returning to where? Do you remember the fundamental theory class? When your spleen, qi is weak, you cannot control the blood. So all the texts in TCM are so speculative, conceptual. What does that mean, control the blood? It literally means manage the blood. So your blood coming from middle jaw, what you eat, turns into blood. And without spleen qi, you cannot deliver them. So heart and spleen take care of same, taking care of same, in qi, the blood. When the spleen is weak, it cannot hold and control the blood. So it is like a guiding dog, like a farm dog, taking care of sheep, a lot of sheep and goat, goat. And if farm dog does not work properly, the sheep will go astray everywhere. And this Gui Pi Tang gather those sheep inside of its fence. This is what this Gui Pi Tang does. This is analysis of bleeding. Analysis of bleeding. So when there is bleeding, there are two scenarios. First scenario is this side. Let's say this is a Let's say these dinosaurs as a WBC and LBC blood heat condition. When there's a blood heat, it goes outside of the fence because like a crazy horses, they jump around and go outside of the fence. There is blood heat bleeding. That is a very common condition. But there are other conditions. This is not the problem with dinosaur or horses or goat or sheep, but it is a problem with the fence. This is spleen qi, not controlling blood. So this bleeding is persistence, not heavy bleeding, but persistent and small amount of bleeding. Comes and goes. Menstrual bleeding, erectile bleeding, but small amount, constant. That is a typical sign of this kind of bleeding. So author of this formula used the term gui meaning let it go in a right way, in a proper way. That's what Gui Pi Tang does, fixing the fence, managing the ships, dinosaurs, and horses. So it is totally different from treating blood heat, exactly opposite. This is about fence, and blood heat is about these animals inside. Actually, this formula does not nourish heart. This is all about controlling blood with qi deficiency and mental condition by qi deficiency because qi is sinking this patient has an oppressive qi depressing qi nice boy, nice girl with docile parent pleasure and depressed cannot get into sleep perfectionist those condition is for this gui pi tang not those angers and irritability exactly opposite Sad, depression, worries, anxiety. That is Gui Pi Tang because Qi deficiency, it is sinking. And this is a major pathology when you understand Gui Pi Tang. By tonifying spleen, 
it fix the fence and let it go in the right place and stop bleeding. Song Dynasty, this formula didn't have Dangui inside. Actually, there was no Dangui. In Yuan Dynasty, there was no Dangui either. After around 500 years later, some doctor in Ming Dynasty put Dangui into Gui Bitang. Originally, Dangui has not been part of Gui Bitang, but modern day Chinese medicine classifies this formula as a tonifying qi and blood formula. But at first, it was the formula only tonifies qi. Then why do you think doctors added Dangui here in Ming Dynasty? Because they lost the blood already, so patients have pro-complexion, anemia. So besides treating qi deficiency, there is a major problem, root problem, but also they need to treat the branch problem, water inside of the boat. In this case, water inside the boat was blood deficiency because they lost the blood already. So if that patient do not have those blood condition, blood loss condition or bleeding condition, only the mental disease with the qi deficiency, you don't have to use Dangui. So historically, Dangui appeared five, 300 years later in the Ming Dynasty. The Renzen and this is Huang Qi, and we think the dosage ratio sh should be followed. But look at this. Renzen and Huang Qi, in some book, Renzen is smaller amount. Same amount. Renzen is smaller amount. Same amount. Renzen is larger amount in this book. 17th century. So even ratio means little. And this unit here is 30 gram in modern perspective. And this is 3 gram. In this Song Dynasty book, they wrote it is one yang. Is 30 gram, but in Ming Dynasty, 3 gram. How can you interpret this? Maybe they have a different scale at that time in Song Dynasty. Nobody knows. But funny thing is, when you read this textbook from Dr. Chen, look at this. Huang Qi by 30 gram, but Dang Gui, 3 gram. Yuan Qi, 3 gram. Do you think that makes sense? 30 gram to 3 gram, and if you 30 gram of Huang Qi and Bai Chu, you cannot take this. Too much, too much ingredient. Here is a secret what happened. Because Song Dynasty original formula didn't have Dang Gui and Yuan Qi. Later in Ming Dynasty, they added Dang Gui and Yuan Qi. But I told you they had different scale, 30 gram and 1 gram. So in this book, only one gram, evenly one gram, uh, three grams, even is three gram. But Dr. Chen made a very ridiculous mistake. So he put all 30 grams from one of the texts and he put three grams with new, newly added herbs. That makes no sense. This is total nonsense. So more than TCM put this system into the westernized biomedicinal perspective, that is something I really feel shame because you have trouble with this, dosages and safeties. And board examination asks you which one is the king herb and which one should be like a dosage, 20 grams, 12 grams. It's total nonsense. It's a shame. Trust me, herbs and formulas are really fun. Really fun. Once you get to know it, it is really fun and you can apply in many conditions around you for your family, neighbors, and yourself. So you, I hope you can like this. Yeah, that is the purpose of this class. I hope you like the formulas and herbs and more American students and acupuncturists use the herbs and formulas. Surprisingly, compared to Chinese acupuncturists and Korean acupuncturists, American-speaking students, acupuncturists, do not use the herbs, even though they finished all the education system. What does that mean? The education system is wrong.